Hi, I'm uh, Darren McEntee from iTrainer Golf, um, and we're here to, uh, to demonstrate the, uh, the ease of use with our iTrainer um, uh, golf training system. Uh, the iTrainer basically provides a um, virtual simulator, a golf swing analysis with some uh, intuitive uh, interactive coaching, and it gives you up to um, 24 different um, uh, metrics for you know, if you want to interested to know, you know timing, tempo, uh, speed, it's also useful for, for coaches um, where we have uh, an integrated uh, dual uh, swing video capture mode and also for club fitting. Um, so it's, it's basically designed to, to offer you know, everyone in the industry something. Um, the unique experience with this is, is basically you can use it at home if you have enough room to swing a golf club. You can uh, buy yourself a net and a mat at home and hit real golf balls. Uh, you can also use wiffle balls. Um, so you know, if uh, you don't have time to go down to the range or you want to have some fun with the kids or the grandkids while they're over, you, know, you can um, buy one of these iTrainer systems, get the grandkids to help you set the, uh, the iTrainer up on the iPad or the tablet. And uh, you can also connect with a cable your, your phone or your tablet to your TV or your projector for, uh, for a better um, you know, real life experience. So what I'm going to do is just uh, to give you a quick uh, sort of two to three minute demonstration just to show you how simple it is to set up an iTrainer and uh, we'll go straight into the virtual um, simulation mode uh, what, uh, where is basically I, I hit the ball and after impact using one of these plastic wiffle balls here that we have um, it basically gives you the, uh, the outcome of the, of the ball flight. Okay, so let me uh, show you how we set it up. Um, everything is, is basically switched off here. So we've assumed that um, the, the app's already been downloaded and I, uh, I switch on my, my Bluetooth uh, feature here. On the iTrainer there's a small button which we press on. On the back of the, the iTrainer there's a serial number and the last three digits we look for on our, on our tablet here. It's now saying connected. Uh, a pop-up says, would you like to uh, communicate with the iTrainer? And we press allow. And I slide the iTrainer back, uh, back into its pouch. We go into normal mode here. I've already set up my, uh, my email and password, which we can use at a later Welcome time. Welcome to the world of iTrainer Golf. There are a number of features on here. We, we have a challenge mode feature which uh, you can compare yourself to a pro, if you can download a pro swing, or you can compare to yourself or a friend. Um, we have an expert mode, which is, is the core of the, of the, the product, so we'll, we'll go into the expert mode in a minute. Uh, the swing history is for, obviously shows you or gives you all of the uh, your history of, uh, of your previous swings. We have settings. Um, if you want absolute accuracy, then we suggest for, uh, for all of your clubs, you enter the club specs, and if they're not known, then either you talk to your club fitter or you go online to the, uh, to the manufacturer's website and you download uh, all of the club specifications. And we also have uh, what we call golf tips, which we will go into a bit later. So I here have a seven iron. It's assuming I've already attached the device, but I'm going to attach the device now. We just Clip that straight onto the into the shaft. Approximately align that to the uh, to the club face. It doesn't have to be perfectly accurate. We have a uh, plus or minus 15 degree tolerance. The lights flash up here red. We hold the club out straight to get a good reference, and now we're ready to swing. So you just do your normal waggle as you would when you're you know, practicing. And on the device, there is one green light that's flashing. And what I'm going to do is wait for the two green lights, or I'll wait to hear the, uh, the bing on the iTrainer, and then I'll be ready to swing. So we set up, I wait for the two green lights, made the bing, and we just go and make our, our swing. Uploading the swing file from the device. So in under three seconds, the information has been captured into the device. It's been compressed and all the data has then been sent over the Bluetooth signal into your phone or to your tablet. And we've made a few swings here before, so what I'll do is there is a, a yellow line, which is my, my last swing. 
We also have an overhead view here and it shows or displays the last 10 swings that we've made. So just from having, uh, you know, going from having nothing at home other than you know, maybe a, a net or a mat to hit into, um, you, know, you have a virtual driving range experience for, for a few hundred dollars. Um, what you're also able to do is after you've taken swings, you can also send that information to your coach and share that information with, uh, you know, with your coach to, um, to hopefully help you improve your swing. Um, it's also a bit of fun. Um, I'll go into some other settings here. We have what's called a dashboard. We provide club head speed. This system is what we call an agnostic. We've developed this for basically any language or um, um, any country. So we have you know, miles per hour, which is used here in the United States and, and Canada. We also have you know, kilometers an hour and meters per second, which are used in other countries around the world. So you can also take this and interact with others, um, you know, um, not just um, you know, here, in, here in the US. We have different features where we compare impact speed with maximum um, club head speed. We give you uh, impact speed uh, ratings with consistency and efficiencies. And for the average golfer, this is interesting, but most people probably wouldn't be, uh, be using this on a day-to-day -day basis. But this information uh, formulates part of our interactive coaching system that we will, uh, we will get to a bit later. We're looking here at swing tempo. And we provide the, uh, the figures for you know, the time for the rear swing, the time for the downswing, or what we call the target swing. And then we, we graphically present here the, uh, the ratings of, uh, of each swing. So over time, you, are, you can also see the, the pattern in your golf swing, which is also you know, very important for, uh, for the golf coach when, uh, when uh, they're looking to assess your swing. We're able to provide um, information such as face to target, face to path, and the path to target. And uh, we're, in terms of accuracy, we can get to in about 0.1 of a degree accuracy um, in terms of you know, the club face to uh, face to target and uh, face to path. Again, this is quite interesting for, um, you know, for club fitters and coaches, and also for the individual who you know, knows a little about their swing um, and is trying to understand a bit more about what's going on during the, uh, the swing process and, uh, and an impact. Still rolling. So we're now in the 3D replay uh, screen and we have a, a timer bar along here. And this basically shows us here the club face and the, the hand position through the swing. The yellow line represents the back swing or what we call the rear swing. So there's a transition period here and then the blue line represents the downswing or what we call the target side swing. That's my loopy finish to, uh, to my swing. But this is actually you know, very, very accurate in terms of you know, providing post-impact data, um, something that's very, very difficult to do. I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's quite simple to provide um, swing metrics or a swing uh, capture on the backswing, but um, after impact, the club head moves, and it's very difficult to, uh, to reconstruct what happens after post impact, but uh, we've managed to, uh, to to provide that information. It's very very accurate. We also have a couple of buttons here. One says analysis. So if I click on analysis, what this is introducing us to here is what we call our interactive coaching system. <clears throat> our interactive coaching system is based on biomechanics. Um, it's not a particular swing theory that we have or that Coach A or B has. It's uh, purely based on on. Uh, the biomechanics of the body uh, related to golf, and we've been working with a number of uh, entities that we can, you know, we'll, we will talk about a bit later. Um, in the f in they're experts in uh, in the field of, of sports biomechanics. So regardless of you know everyone is physically different, and regardless if I'm tall or short, or um, you know, if I'm male or female, or young or old, um, everybody has a certain uh, biomechanical movement that allows them to swing a golf club, and regardless of their physical ability, they will, are able to get into a position to swing a golf club based on their, their own physical ability. So part of our system um, that we've developed is, is explaining biomechanically the different points in the swing or the transition points in the swing um, that 
you as a golfer and we as golfers don't need to think about uh, because we, you know, we've captured that information. Uh, but what we do is, at the different points during that, that swing process, we are looking for the club to be in certain positions. And then we're making a number of assumptions based on, um, on your swing um, and how to improve specific uh, um, improvements in the swing based on, you know, on what we've, uh, the data we've captured. So to explain that graphically, this here is typically called the takeaway. Um, we call it position one, but you can call it anything you like. We can call it a chicken sandwich. It's just a reference point. It doesn't really have any, any, any meaning to us other than biomechanically there's a movement. Um, again, it's called, it's called the takeaway of position one. And there's a particular movement that is efficient. Um, we highlight whether it's a good or whether it's you can Im improve that position and the swing that I made is, uh, is acceptable. Uh, at position one. The next point that uh, some people call the, uh, the halfway back. Now this here is actually the club. We're not looking at the hands or the arms whatsoever. We're just looking here or referencing what's happening with the club. And we call it position two. Now you'll notice down here in position one, the, the outline is green. And some people might be able to see that if I switch this over here. Um, Position one is good, so it go, it stays green. And wherever there's a problem, we highlight with a uh, with a red uh, surrounding and uh, a question mark. So it's explaining to me here that the shaft is pointing inside the target line, and it's a problem. And then it's giving me a uh, some some feedback um, that's telling me what uh, what I need to to consider and what I need to work on. Now there's another question mark here, and if I press this. We go into um, part of the tuition that we've developed, which explains what you need to do to correctly get into position two. Um, we're not suggesting how to make the swing. All we're focusing on is that's the point that you need to get to. Uh, as we move through the system, what we get you to do is build up that swing. Um, but we try not to get you to think too much about what's happening in the swing, um, just to get to each point. And we do the same with a position we call position three, which is uh, the point of uh, uh, near transition. And then you start to make the, the downswing. And we reference uh, in the impact point. And I'll just switch the laser off for a second, which we call position four impact. And, and we, we reference through uh, the extension and the full finish. So this is just an introduction to what we call interactive coaching system. Um, in the future, you will basically be tapping the screen and it will take you through step by step and to what you need to do to improve your swing mechanics, just focusing on specific key points and then getting you to make a series of swings to see the improvement um, and then get you on to the next level. So that's, uh, that was all that we were, um, we were going to um, introduce you to today. And uh, next month when we, uh, we've made some more updates um, and some improvements, we will uh, uh, come back to you and, and give you a little more information and hopefully uh, in the long term we can get your golf to, uh, to be more enjoyable, um, help you to swing uh, more efficiently regardless of your age or your size and uh, hopefully you'll have a, have a lot of fun as well. Thank you.